So you call my type glorified 40 milers. That's what I was to you, huh? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, John, when you had just started wrestling, I had already put six years worth of time in. When you were a box boy, I was a professional wrestler. Then when you started riding everybody's coattails that would listen, anybody that could get you a little bit of exposure, I was still doing everything I could to make a name for myself. For myself, John. I didn't rely on anybody else. And go ahead, throw out whatever initials or names you want to as being my daddy or whatever. Say you're going to take me to school. The only way you're taking me to school is if you're a substitute teacher again. Oh, did we strike a nerve? You need to get somebody to be a substitute for you in this match because that might be the only way your ass gets a win over the blue-collar badass J.D. Drake. The fact of the matter is, John, I never said that I worked harder than you. I said I made the most of my opportunities. And you've just come up short. Skyler, HVW, is going to be your final resting place. When I said you had heat with the office, I was ribbing. Now you have heat with the blue collar badass JD Drake. And that my friend is very bad for your health. <laughs>